All right, so every network interaction relies on DNS, and it is a gold mine of data for SOC analysts or security analysts. Malicious actors often rely on domain names to control malwares, phishing sites, and other uh, malicious activities as well. By monitoring the DNS traffic, we can detect anomalies and uncover these threats before they can cause any significant damage on the network. When it comes to DNS logs, the, the Splunk can ingest and parse the massive volume of, volume of data, helping the security teams to identify and respond to the threats immediately. All right, And Splunk makes it easier to detect the suspicious DNS query and uh, help you to spot malicious DNS traffic and also automate the response to any kind of a potential threat. In this video, we will learn how to analyze the DNS log file using Splunk cell. All right, so let's get started. This is our Splunk. And uh, let's. the first job is to add the uh, DNS log data on Splunk, okay? So to do that, go to setting tab and click on add data, okay? Once you do that, you have an option on the bottom, upload, monitor, and forward. You can select the upload option if you want to upload your custom file or sample log file. Once you do that, you now get an option to select the file or you can drag and drop here as well. So I'll drag it, drag my log file, sample log file. I'll share you the link in the description below where you will also find the uh, the entire, you know, uh, projects as well in the GitHub repository, okay? So once it is done, let's go to next. Uh, yeah, so you can find, you have an option to select the source type. We'll keep it as it is, and we won't change anything in the timestamp or uh, event breaks. So let's keep it as it is. Let's go to next. Uh, let's type the source, let's give a name to the source type. This is, this indicates the source of your log, log file, right? So I'll say a DNS log, just, just keep it as it is, DNS log, and you can give any description. It's a sample, sorry, it's a sample DNS log file. Okay, let's save it. And uh, you can change the host field value as well, or you can keep it as it is. Let's go to review section, finally submit it, okay? It might take uh, a minute or so. As you can see, it's done. Click on search, start searching. And once you do that, you get immediately all the logs here, yeah? You see this? Source is the name of the source. Uh, your name of the file, basically. This is the name of the host. And this is finally our uh, source type, okay? This gives you all the logs. We have somewhere around four, four, 422K logs here. So first thing that you can do, the first thing that you should do is to, to check all the logs, you know? You see 422K, but at this moment, when you looking at, when you are looking at the individual events, you don't see much of information. You have, uh, you know, this is DNS traffic. You have source uh, system destination probably and uh, sending the request for a specific URL, FQDN, right? You see this? So this these are all specific FQDN, but uh, these are not parsed yet. So, and that's the reason on the left-hand side, you don't see any specific fields. The selected fields are the default fields. Interesting fields are being captured by this Splunk uh, as a the specific important fields. Uh, if you think that Splunk uh, couldn't do his job properly, you can probably add some more fields here. You can extract a new field. And then, okay. And then what you can do is you can create your own custom field based on what, what, what's your, what, what, what's your desire is for a specific traffic. Let's say I select a, a sample traffic here, right? And now uh, I selected any any of the events. And now based on that, I'll go to next option, 
or probably wait uh i want i won't go with this i'll tell you the reason because i need a, an event which has a domain domain right uh url so i can probably go for this yeah so for this i'll come back here and i'll extract the new fields now let's go the bottom yeah so i think we can go for this 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 one okay and uh, click on next and uh, now what you can do is you can create a regular expression or delimiters uh, with regular expression, you can pick a specific source or destination IP address or maybe any specific fields. So I'll do that. And now let's see, for example, I feel this should be my source. So I'll say SRC underscore IP add to the extraction. And let's say this could be my possible destination IP address because this is this is on the standard port, which is 53, which is the DNS port, right? on UDP, uh, uh, so I'll do the DST underscore IP, destination IP address. And if this is my fully qualified domain, so I'll add this into the FQD and maybe, maybe my domain name, right? So let's extract it. Uh, for other information, I'm not really 100% sure what is this for. This looks like to be the type of record, okay? PTR is the type of record. So what I can see is the uh, record underscore type. Okay. All right. So it's done. Now let's go to next. Click on next. Yes, we have extracted source IP destination FQDN or records type or rec record type. Okay. Click on finish. It's success explore the new fields I just created in the search. Click on it. Perfect. Now, can you see this? On your left, now you have destination IP address, which has 100 plus, uh, you know, uh, objects in it. You have FQDN, 100 plus. Uh, you also have source IP, and you must be having a record type. Yeah, so you see this? So we have A records, we have uh, pointer record, a, 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 a records, text records, uh, SRV records, SOA, site of origin, if I'm not wrong, MX records, name server records. Okay. So these are very, very valuable guys. These are very, very important. Okay. We'll cover a few of them. So first of all, let's talk about extracting some relevant fields. So you can extract some relevant fields out of it, uh, based on different, uh, situation. So maybe let's say you want to extract uh, fields based on regular expression. So you can do that. And um, uh, you can also refer my project. So I'll show you, this is my GitHub account. So from here also, you can you retrieve the command and test yourself. You can see uh, the second task is to extract the relevant fields. This help you to uh, extract the domain name, source IP address, query type, uh, response code and uh, everything related to that. So we'll cover all the things which is related to DNS. Okay. So we can apply this filter. And uh, in our case, I think the, give me one second. Yeah. Source type is DNS logs. In this case, I have, I've written the source type as DNS sample. Um, Let's keep it as it is. The source type in our case is the DNS log. And let's remove all the other fields here. And if you do that, you should get all the fields related to the DNS. Why this is important? Because uh, remember this, uh, you might be having a uh, sample traffic, which uh, where the DNS is just part of that entire log file. So if you want to retrieve all the logs, that belongs to DNS or specific fields of DNS, maybe D that has the uh, in the raw data where you have domain, you have query, you have response, you have port as 53. 
this will this will carry all those information and you can see that these are the fqdn that passes this regular expression okay so this is how you can be very specific about certain domain query response port 53 and this is like pipe and this is like the or uh, a different condition you know so this is all about fetching the dns related traffic now let's go to the next parameter or next task which is to identify any anomalous traffic so to find the anomalous traffic let's uh, understand if you have a lot of dns traffic and you want to know uh which the which domain uh, which domain is receiving more requests than any other okay so this happened in case of ransomware kind of attack where um, the more and more requests goes to the uh, you know command and control server so this can be really helpful and help you to identify any anomalous behavior okay so what i can do is i can run the stats command and i can say i want to capture all the domain based on its uh, fqdn the domain name let's do that and uh, you can see this domain has got 10000 uh, request okay other than that this domain dot something dot facebook has got 1209 request so this can be really helpful for us to diagnose if it is really a genuine url or not okay you can even do that uh, by applying uh, top command as well so i can run top and uh, fqdn and uh, this will show you the request which comes on most num uh, you know uh, which has the more number of requests so that will come on to the top okay you can also create table as well so this will give you the uh, table of specific domain let's say fqdn then src ip so i want to create a table of all the relevant and interesting information so i want to have a table where i have fqdn source ip destination ip as well okay perfect can you see this google um, for for to reach google these are the system which uh, who send more most number of requests uh, to this specific ip address so this might be the name server in our case this looks like to be a broadcast but um, we'll have to figure it out maybe this is not a, a, a destination ip address or we, we just have taken for example that's okay okay now let's try and I'd investigate this suspicious domain in our network or you can follow the projects as well to understand in more deeper so let's say uh, based on your analysis you have encountered a domain which looks suspicious for example in our case um, fqdn and um, uh, there are multiple websites let's say this one okay this looks like to be suspicious so i can go here and i can find which are the systems who send the request to this domain so i can apply a table and um, then based on it i can then say table src underscore ip you see this these are the all the ip addresses which sent the request to it so there are 7156 systems so uh, let's remove some duplicate entry so we can say data for src ip okay there's just one okay you we would have you know simplified this been before as well so even before you come to the table format you can also go to src and you can see there's just one ip address that's also one way of looking at it in the real world we might be having 100 200 ip address so that way that's where you can apply tables or top command to see the data in the descending order okay so i hope this was helpful uh, this is the way we look at the dns traffic and this is the way we perform the dns log analysis if you have any question in terms of uh, uh, the way we did the parsing we we analyze the traffic uh, about any query related to a specific command do let me know in the comment section i would love to help you out thank you